Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are on part 26. So we last left off, uh, finally delivering the, uh, um, the bandits that assaulted Marriott. The Marriott villagers captured one of the bandits. I was able to interrogate that bandit and get a letter from him. I turned that letter into Radzig. Radzig based off the information sent me over to Ravna to see if I could intercept this Menhart guy who was delivering the Charles counterfeit the coins King of um, I showed up Roman and the convoy was wrecked long um, the so I followed a, a blood trail and found one of the mercenaries to the convoy at a local charcoal burner place the charcoal burners had taken the uh, sacks when of money um, the and then I saw a knight interrogating the charcoal burners. I confronted him, chased him down, beat him in a fight, um, and came to find out that that dude's name is Ulrich. And Ulrich appears to also be investigating this issue. Um, but granted, I only have his word to go on, and I did kind of let him go. So, uh, could come back to bite me, but I don't know. I just had a hunch that he was decent. Um, but Ulrich did give me some info. He gave me what they knew, which was uh, a book. Yeah, he gave me these, which I haven't read yet. I should read those. And I'm supposed to take this book to Tobias Feyfar over in Rete. Um, I'm hopeful. Ho I'm hoping this Gallows Brothers quest will just cancel because it's not one that I can do. Um, I still need to get boar meat, deer kidneys, and I I have a bandit thing to turn in that I haven't done in a while. And I still need to steal a horse from here. Um, I guess I'll try to grab boar meat right quick. It's not. I'm in Talenburg right now, and yeah, there's a boar hunting spot like right over there. Let's see if there's one that's closer. Okay. Seems like there's another spot that's like down here that I haven't found yet. Yeah, it looks like it's like right in here. That's closer. Yeah. Um. So the other thing Ulrich told me was, uh, Menhart ended up dying as as Ulrich was chasing him. Um. Then Ulrich buried him. I went and dug up Menhart's body and took some stuff. 
Um, I didn't do it for the grave. Like, I thought there might be, like, another clue on him or something. But that ended up not being the case, so... I mean, I ended up grave robbing him, but... It wasn't my explicit goal. So I think in this patch of woods here is the boar hunting spot. That boar, boy. There we go. Perfect. What happened to the dog? Why, what's that? What is that? Uh. Okay. The dog is tired. Okay. There's the boar. Boar meat. Take the hide as well. Probably too heavy to get on. Man, that was a big boar. Can't carry. Why don't you carry that much? Probably need to carry more for me to hop on you. There we go. Okay. Got it. Let's go back to uh, Talenberg with this. Go ahead and turn it in. Yeah! for any meat? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Chamberlain. Oh, you know where what he's that? at? He's... I know where he is. Yep. Found him. I got your poor meat. I hope I can be of... I brought that game. Show me that. And it's in pristine condition. Hmm. Here's your reward. Now, <clears throat> listen well. Sir Divish has decided, in the light of recent events, that we should stock up the castle food supplies. But the farmers can supply no more, and the merchants are afraid to take to the roads. So he decided we're to stock up on game meat. I see. I'll bring what I can. 
Okay. What do you what do you want? Bring board okay, I'll just give you more board meat since I have it. What else do you want? Red deer meat? Okay. What else? That's 170 red deer meat. Okay. Hair meat. I brought that game. Excellent. Do I need to give it to you all at the same time? Can't I just give it to you like a little bit at a time? I have no time for this, Yacht. Take care. That's annoying. It's really annoying. Okay. Um. Probably won't take too long to do. Red deer meat. That's maybe one or two deer. That's a lot of rabbit meat, though. But rabbits aren't that hard to find. And I know, I know where to find those. Um, and then this guy specifically wants roe deer kittens. Maybe I can kill two birds with one stone with this. Because uh, there's a place to get roe deer meat. That's pretty close. It's up here. Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just go up here and grab that. Um, the rabbit meat might be a problem. I'm gonna sell some blue meat to this Vincent guy here. Because I only need 20. Ripatova. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Can we trade? If you I'll be with you. I just need to sell 43 of these. He doesn't have enough money, dang. You have anything I can buy from you to like offset this? Save your schnapps. Pay thirty. This venison's about to go bad. So he was more hide. Goblet. Can't afford, he cannot afford the golden spurs. Why the silver spurs? Give him the saber, no. Yeah, this is fine. I'd like to just. All right, so cool. Okay, let's go get the deer meat. Yeah. Though so the hardest part about this quest will be getting all the meat before it all expires. Um. So take this road, and then at this bend, I'll just go to the right. Or I could follow the yeah. river and then cross it on the left side when it splits. That's my other option. The rabbit hunting won't be as hard as the dog. Yeah, look at 
this. Look at these. Okay. Hop off my horse. And, uh, try to line up my shots a little bit better. Yeah, too far to the left. over the hill. Hi. so fast. This hill is such a weird spot to hunt him at. Gotta get the angle of the shots right. skittish when you're close. I think I should get that one. Or I should get this one.
Get out the way. Look what I've got, your love. God, you can have this one. Oh. Maybe I should have done the skittish one instead of the uh, won't go bad as fast one. I don't know. Where'd you go? Oh, good job. the hunt button which means I see one right there. 
rabbit. Got him. Getting better with the bow. Yeah, I thought I took the bow out of him. The dog's not tired anymore. Just behind him. I'm a little so a little smidge high. I think that's enough meat, but I'm shy one kidney. Uh, oh, red. Mm. Okay. I'm getting roe deer meat, not red deer meat. I thought the meat wouldn't matter. Um, I need it. I'll kill at least one more for the kidneys, though. I'll probably just feel bad about dropping all this meat, but maybe I'll sell it to the butcher and I'll give it to him. What's up, buddy? Good fella. That's my boy. Let's hunt something, eh? Hair. Good job. <laughs> Killed the last deer I needed. Okay. Two overloaded to mount up.
Okay, yeah, horse is full up. Oh, you know what? We can do this. Um, this will give me a little bit more mileage. Because if I'm wearing this stuff, it doesn't weigh as much. Coif is 14, bad Coif is 9. Move that to the horse. Yeah, it weighs less as long as I'm wearing it. So. Uh, yeah, now he's got some more room. Just draw. Honestly, probably the food. I don't actually need the red deer meat or the roe deer meat, so maybe I'll just drop that because. I still want to be able to pick up um, red deer meat. Uh, feels bad. Feels like such a waste, but. I got the kidneys. I'm gonna turn those in last. Um, I need to go to a red deer hunting spot. Is what I need. The closest one is here, so I'm just gonna. Go. Actually, if I go directly south, I'll get it. I think this is directly south. Right? Oh, no, that's west. This is directly south. Yeah, south is across the river this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Directly south. Should hit. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Sorry, boy. You're not the deer we're looking for. I didn't even know that there was another... That's... That's the guy we want. Right? 
she under him? I can't even tell where the arrow is going. I guess I need to kill one more. There's not enough meat off that guy. It's not a red deer. It's a row. Ooh. I still need rabbits. Decided to like turn and come toward them. There we go. Get him! Get that one, please. Good job, boy. Five hair meat. Oh, it's okay. So, one more red deer. And one more. I can't even mount up now. There's our hair. I just need red to show up. I like how the hunt command levels Houndmaster as well as Huntmaster. Puppy, puppy, puppy. That's a good boy. That's my. Look what I've got. You love. Gotta be close to the red deer spot, even though it's not on my compass. My issue is, how do I? How am I supposed to carry all this meat? <laughs> I can't get on the horse. To this camp right next I'm like right on I mean I gotta be right on top of it right I just killed a red deer ah here it is yeah I just need one to spawn rabbit I'm good on hair meat I just need one red deer to spawn oh. okay good good job Fifty, right? Yeah, one fifty. 
Not what I... I don't want that one. Good job. I guess. Take the kidney in case the kidney goes bad. Got a lot of row down there. I can't believe I didn't find that. I've hunted this spot before. I can't believe I didn't find that row hunting spot. Don't need awful. Oh, I can put stuff in my horse. Whoops. I'm a silly goose sometimes. Let the red deer move my horse. Red deer to spawn, please. Yeah. All this frickin' row. Yeah. Oh, the dog marker. Good job, boy. Hey, oh. I 
Okay. Um, 109. And then, uh, I need 170, I think. Yeah, 170. So, if I had 110, 70 minus 10, that's 60. So I need 61. Uh, so 153 minus 61. I'll drop 60, see how much that leaves me. Oh, I wasn't trying to... I was trying to drop it. I got 61. Just make sure my math is right. Yep, 170. So now I just move 109 back to my horse. And hopefully I can ride it. Yes. All right. Let's go back to town. Yeah. Move away. Yeah. Let's turn in all this meat. What goes bad? Yeah. House, exactly where I'm at. Yeah. I feel bad. I left. A t I killed a ton of animals and didn't take nearly all the meat, but I took literally as much as I could carry. Someone attack you? I brought that game. Hmm. Bam. Hmm. Here's your reward. That will be all for now. The stores are full, and neither Sir Divish nor Lady Stephanie have any further demands on your hunting services. See you later. Sweet. Uh, let's turn in these kidneys down in Sasso. Yeah. Line by the house. Yeah. So, yeah, Tomberg to Sasau. Go this way. Then go to the windmill and then south from the windmill.
this guy goes to sleep, I am barging into his house and waking him up. These kidneys are gonna go bad. Freaking kidneys, bro. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Copy. Yes, he's I'm at you. So I got the split. Here, you know, these bad ones. <laughs> well, mm, they're not bad, good. but they're just not as good as the Here's other Here's something for your effort. Another job for you. One of the merchants was asking for dear, dear liver. Try and get me some. All right. Uh, I could have gotten. Ah, man. There's two back in the Talmberg woods. How many does he want? Four. Okay. I'll oh. wait on that. Um. So I did all the huntsman quests. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fars in our tank. There's some quests I can take here. Here, get some red deer. Let me see how much deer litter he has on him. Just buy it from him. With you. Eh, he doesn't have any on him. I can sell him these kidneys. Yeah, I'll sell him the kidneys. Can we do s- What? Are we agree- It's not work- Finally! Okay. Um... Energy 82... I'm not tired. My health is low, though. I feel like getting to your liver. I, I know, I feel like going to Rote and doing that in class. Go straight through, or go north and actually follow the path. Let's do that, let's actually follow the path. Yeah. Go this way. I'll... I know this is the right direction. Ooh, four hunting spots. Let's go. It's always nice to run across from random hunting spots. The trail is this. It's this trail here. Yeah. And I'm going to turn in my, uh, yeah, let's, 
Let's not forget to turn that in. Because I've already done it, I just gotta turn it in. Yeah. Dutchko, and then the Dutchko is right next to the tank. What was that? Ah! Yeah. Ask Teresa if she wants to go somewhere, but it's probably too late. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you want a little wager on the Rattay tourney? Dude. Good. About betting on the... I'm glad... Do, 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 do. A nice... God be with you. Can't turn. Let's see if I can take a bath. Good evening. God bless. God watch over you, good. Take care. The prior, eh? Business here, clear off. I'd like to have business here. I'd like to chat with you. Want to use your services? Rude. Crap. Good luck then. That's annoying. Well, 
everyone's going to sleep, so we're gonna go to sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep over here. Where Teresa's at. Nourishment 17, and I only need like 12. Yeah, this salami is going to go bad. I may as well just feed it to my dog. to give to Tobias. What did Ulrich give us? We the aldermen of the great and glorious city of Passau do hereby wish God's grace and mercy and do offer God's will to all in Sunday and sundry princes, religious and secular, dukes and counts, margraves, barons, lords and other nobles, chamberlains, ministers and counselors, knights and squires, hetmen and captains, custom officials, treasurers and officials, and bailiffs of cities, towns, and villages, and other settlements, and their elders and governors, and to all others who are subject and faithful to the Holy Roman Empire, and to all who, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, shall take into their hands this missile. Safe conduct for Ulrich of Passau. Okay. Giant sentence to start with. Esteemed, gracious, noble, and faithful friends, we hereby recommend to you each and all the holder of this parchment, the venerable knight Sir Ulrich, good gentleman and our loyal friend, you shall soon come to your kingdom of Bohemia as our envoy and emissary. And we ask you to receive upon him upon his arrival with the same goodwill and respect you graciously afford us. Dream kindly to suffer him to travel and to assist him in his journey and to allow him safe conduct over all roads, ports, bridges, lands, fiefdoms, counties, provinces, cities, towns, castles, villages, and any other places in your kingdom of Bohemia. And by your good grace to see to Sir Ulrich safe and unmolested passions of his mission, to uphold the honor and good name of our great city, Sat down in the city of Pass in the year of our Lord, 1403. Record of examination of the coin. Okay. On April 2nd, a test was conducted in Passau of a coin, which was a forgery of the Prague Groschen recently discovered in the Passau House of Exchange. The test was conducted by Master Johannes Bergman, Honorable Counselor of the city of Passau, who was entrusted with the task by the city council and who, as a jeweler and goldsmith, has much experience in such matters. The test was supervised by the deputies of the city council, Mr. Joachim Falkenberg, Conrad called Honey Tongued and Kuno Icer. Master Bergman surmised that the forgeries were very well fashioned and for a layman difficult to distinguish from genuine currency. It was also found that the counterfeit had been made by a new method as yet unfamiliar to Master Bergman. The core of the coin is stamped from copper sheet and the same is plated with silver amalgam in imitation of the genuine article. The master jeweler also noted that the design of the coin is sharply etched and of fine quality, indicating that the counterfeiters had at their disposal a very well-crafted punch. Okay. Interesting. So basically, just backs up what we already know. They, these counterfeiters know what they're doing. Okay. Time to sleep. Sleep off this torso injury. Get a full eight hours of sleep here.
Okay. I woke up in cow poop. Nice. Don't mind me, folks. I have a sleepwalking problem. Take a bath. Hopefully the bathhouse is open. Oh, horsemanship. That's me. Proprietor. My home. Bruh. Okay, whatever. Go into town. Um, yeah. Therese is definitely still sleeping. Guess I'll just give this stuff to Tobias. But he might still be sleeping too. I also need to spend some time repairing my stuff. I think that's the only... No, yeah, small armor is good. Skill. Don't actually need anything in here. Stop that! What in God's name are you doing? Hey, you! Don't! Stop! Hear me! You were seen. It's definitely. Look, I'll tell you the. Where? Okay. You didn't see that, did you, Ranzi? Even though he definitely did. I like how I just talked my way out of that one. Damn. You're my way, you're my way, you're my way, you're my way. Where is Tobias? Is he in here? Must be where he is. Oh, I need to eat. Eat the salami. Fifteen. Oh, perfect. I'll make some wine in the morning. <gasps> There's no way I get away with picking this lock, is there? Why are you creeping around like a foot peg? Don't worry about it. What the? Good He's God. stealing! Watch Stop out of right me! Now. Are you out Steve. of your mind? Help! The rest of feet! I didn't do it. I swear. Hey! Surrender! You. You'll have Hold to answer up. for your law break. You should have thought. Secret task. Just my luck. Okay. Look, I can't. <laughs> but that. All right. You paid and spread your arms. And... Okay. Ah. Ah. 
Where did this guy go? He ran this way. What a pansy. God bless you. What troubles you? Master Feyfire, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colors. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a mustache. But for all his gray hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pen by the quester. Mm -hmm. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso Alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognize the hand. It's a Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. Okay. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal... what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Okay. Take care. Who? <laughs> Turn in this quest to uh, Bernard. This bandit quest. Yeah. yet oh. he does anything early 
should I take the time to sell any of my stuff? <clears throat> like this saber, I should probably sell this. Or I could put it away. I don't know. Should probably oh, actually these spurs I should sell. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith. Yeah. Blacksmith that has a ton of money because I keep trading with him. Hopefully he's open. He's not open yet. Mother never. Oh, yeah, he is. Cool. God save you. Oh. I'll be with you. Let me get out of your way. Go grab your stuff. Go on. Start your day. So I can't trade with you until you're in blacksmith mode. Okay. That's so silly. Alrighty, what do we got? You can have a saber. You can have any spurs. I'll just sell two of these. Some string. Some silver spurs. Eleven thirty-one. He doesn't. He doesn't need it. Maybe. Um. Maybe I'll get repairs from him first. Yeah. Let me do that. Let me get repairs from you first. Let's have a word. Hmm. Do it for eleven twenty. Is this enough? I'd almost shake. I'd almost shake on it. Eleven eighty. Aye, for that. Okay. Saber, spurs, two of these necklaces, this ring, silver spurs. That's pretty much it. right now. I am wearing a coif. I'm going to put on that padded coif that's in my freaking, uh, it's in my horse right now. Okay. Let's have a word about, hmm. Is this an a nice sum? Just lower your demand. Aye, for that. Sweet. That's why he's my boy. Yeah! Um, I'm gonna go to the tailors. That stuff. My stuff fixed. <gasps> Not open yet. Cringe. All these places take forever. Right? You're not open yet either. Right. Alright, let's go see if we can take a bath. Yeah! Start their day so freaking late. Lazy bums. Here we go. I can get a bath, it looks like. Dodd 
I'd like some. Uh huh. Proper bar. That can be a ring. I'm not giving you that. And how? Is this? It'll take more than. You won't. Yeah. Should have had that stuff on during my bath. sleeps. I'll just go there. God be with you. I'd like to enroll. You'll have to wait a few. Okay. See you later. Just woke up to make it over here. I've taken care of. Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. It looks like your work is done here at Ratai. I haven't heard Sweet. of any other camps, so we may finally have some peace and calm. Good work. Excellent. Thank you, Captain. But have no fear of idleness. I've sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at Talmberg. There are human hordes rampaging through their woods. Very well, Captain. I'll set off immediately. Glad to hear it. I have some... Let's see. All right, I collect. Cool. All right. Yeah. Any other quests to do here? Stu, I don't... My pickpocketing skill is so bad. Um, Capon's champion, but Rite is not... But Captain Robard. Speak with Ulrich, find out who in Sessa works with copper. I could, um, 
do whatever this main quest or this side quest is here. I think that's a uh, Han's side quest. Is probably what that is. Um, I need to repair this jacket and waffen frock. I want to repair the hood too while I'm at it. It's a good sneak hood, apparently. Oh, that's a very good 612. It's an incredible yeah. sneak hood. Still close, like. Yeah. I'm gonna go see what this quest is over here. I guess before I see what that quest is, I'm gonna go see if yeah. Teresa wants to go on a date. She should be awake by now, and it's not raining. Won't need that. Thank you. Bandages, sweet. Wouldn't you like to take? I'd love. Home again. See you again sometime. Yes. Come by again. Fix my stuff. Gods. Good luck to you. Let's have a word about. Well, we. Do it for eighty. Satis. Well now. 
See now what? Thanks. Okay, so I can go to Sasau, or I can see what. Uh, I can see what this side quest here is. I'll have to come back to. Well, I'll keep coming back to her take because of the tournament and the Capon's champion quest. Let me see who this quest giver is. Carrots and apples, pick today to put yeah. the And I'll put that on the horse. Cool. All my stuff is fixed. Yay. Hummer's looking. Hummer's chilling. Your door is locked. Unless it's someone up here. This door's not locked. Tons. I'm glad you're here, Henry. What's happening, sir? Uncle Sahanush sent for me. No doubt he wants to give me another ear bashing about. What has it got to do with me? Plenty. You're in it with me ever since that hunt. All right. We should get going then, shouldn't we, Sir Hans? The sooner we get it over and done with, the better. I suppose so. Right away. I put some of my old clothes in a trunk for you. I don't want you making me look bad in front of Hanush. But I see it wasn't necessary. You look as smart as any courtier. Thanks. I try my best. So I see. But you can come and get those clothes later anyway. They're a little worn, but they're as fine as anything you'll get in the county. Okay. Well, my ward and his, what shall we say, chaperone? Uncle. My lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, Uncle. We like were just... Like boozing and whoring, for instance. Uh, Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. No, it wasn't... Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ. <laughs> what the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this he's fiefdom mad about the who work quest from that we dawn did. to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours, may I remind you. And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff here complaining, and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the Lord here you can get away with anything. But you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. A Lord remains a Lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. Mm -hmm. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson b Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. Well, I was only... Oh, I'm don't so whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I have a job for you. Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. Okay. So Milota of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? 
He is. He came here with the remnants of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress, Aleshna, was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. Milotta pursued him almost as far as Neuhof and engaged with him. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for Milotta. Wolfren of Camburg? That name is familiar. Yeah, he's kin to the Oleshna lords, too. A cousin of Bernard's and Milotta's. And their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. What do you want us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolfram pillaged some other farms around Neuhof, and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair. After all, maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get That's that fine. damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, Uncle. Get to work, then. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Robert Baron. Go to Bernard, join the squad. Let's do it. Oh, teleported us here. Okay, cool. Hans, you're taking forever. Where is Bernard? He lost a lot of men. Track three. Me and coach. Sir Hannes sent me, Captain. I'm to join your mission. And Sir Hans, too. Then mount up, youngster, and we'll move out. Okay. Pebbles. Pebbles, let's go. Okay, Pom. When we get there, I'd like you to hold back. You can forget about that. Yeah, Hannah sent me to handle this matter, and handle it. Yeah. yeah. I just meant for your own safety. I know what you meant, Captain. Yeah. Very well, Your Grace. Listen, Bernard. About this robber, I heard some rumors about his being a relative of mine, Melodas. Something like that. We have the same great grandfather, Urban Baron of Aleshna. Wolfen belongs to a distant branch of my family, which, well, well, let's just say they bring no honor to our name. But I heard Wolfen of Camber was hanged somewhere in Silesia after plundering the bishop's estates. I heard the same, only, well, I'm sure you've heard what they say about the Camber branch of my family. And listen on this That convo. they're cursed. <laughs> now, Bernard, don't you think I'm a little old for fairy tales? Think what you like. I heard it from my grandfather, and he never paid attention to yeah. old wives' tales. I meant no offense, Captain. Well, tell me all about it, then. After all, there's no smoke without fire. And I never heard about the Camber clan from a member of the family. Very well. At home, we always spoke in whispers about our Camber relatives. The Wolfen's father, Wilhelm, came to visit. I'm almost ashamed to say it. You can rely on my discretion, Captain. Carry on. Well... The servants were so afraid of him that they went and hid in the barn. The father had them whipped. Even then, they wouldn't go near Wilhelm. They were afraid he cursed them. I couldn't blame him. Why is that? Well, Wilhelm's face was so badly disfigured, folk would cross themselves when they saw him. I was afraid of him myself as a boy. Was he wounded in war? No. He was born that way. See, his mother, Countess Barbara of Hogwitz, didn't want to marry Wilhelm's father, my grandfather's brother. She never wanted to bear his children. So, she fell pregnant. They say she went to a witch to get rid of the giant. She ended up having quintuplets. Can you imagine <laughs> it? Five babes born in one night? Jesus Christ. That's what you get. That's not Going all. Going to a witch for an abortion, Before you deserve quintuplets. Only the fifth well, survived. actually, you don't deserve quintuplets. But. Wilhelm. 
That's actually a blessing. But it's just that's just funny. So ironic. Good lord, how dreadful. Well, Wilhelm carried that with him his whole life. When his own wife was in childbed, he had seven friars needling in her chamber day and night. It didn't stop the rumors, though. When his son, Wolfen, was born, he looked normal enough. But he turned out to be as wild as a stray tomcat. It seems he hasn't grown out of it. Yeah, right about that. A few years ago, Wolfen went off to Poland, and Wilhelm got worse and worse. May I have everything and everyone in his past started throwing crockery at the servants. He was on his deathbed. He sent for a priest, not just to give him the last rites, because they were afraid the devil would come out of him and possess someone else. Then later, Wolfen turned up, even though he was supposed to be dead for years. The folk said he was dead. That wouldn't stop the devil's spawn. Sweet Jesus. It sounds a lot more convincing coming from you than Whoa. the story on Earth. Go down. How are we supposed Light to deal with a monster like that? I sent them to scout ahead. Those bastards will pay for this. They most certainly will. Henry, let's go. Gate. We have to make camp. Hamlin, take two men and come back here later. I won't have Vitus and Cyril left as croaking. Yes, Captain. Well, we're probably going to have to do it to them, since they're killing scouts. We've already failed our mission to resolve this without bloodshed, because there's already two dead people. look a little stuck. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Where are you going, you love? You nearly killed me. Oh, chill. No complainer. Greetings. What do we do now? First, we have to find out where those horsons are holed up. So someone should go to those places and find out what they can. All right, Captain. I'll do One is uphill from Neuhoff, right by the woods. One here above the woods by the crossroads, directly north from our camp. Tell me, Captain, how come this Wolfen is attacking his own kin? They say blood's thicker than water, but sometimes I wonder. Look at our king and Sigismund. So what's the cause of your conflict with Wolfen? Nothing in particular. Just that he's a ruffian, a treacherous bastard, and a bandit. No wonder the whole Camber clan is cursed. How are you related? Nelota, Wolfen and I have the same great-grandfather, Urban Baron of Oleshna. How do you mean curse? Like I said, Wolfen's grandfather married Countess Barbara of Hallgwitz. She didn't want to bear his child and went only instead of getting rid of them. all at the same time? All in one night. But only one of them lived till morning. The youngest, Wilhelm. Mm. Dang. And his face was disfigured. That sucks. They say the witch deceived the Countess and it was Satan himself who impregnated her. Mm-hmm. And you believe that story? Depends how you look at it. Wilhelm wasn't a bad man while he was in his right mind, but he was terrifying to look at. As for Wolfen, word came that he died in Silesia. That God be with you, Henry. Sus. Take care. Okay. This farm here, that farm there. <laughs> I'll go check out the northern camp first. 
This one is this one. Inside the house. Hey folks, I'm gonna talk to the man of the house. Good health to you. <laughs> Captain Bernard sent me. I'm here about the raid on your farm. What? I've no idea what you're talking about, friend. They raided your farm, didn't they? No. I heard there was some raids hereabouts, but not here. Something's not right. The captain sent me here to this very farm. I'm about to get the captain must have made a mistake. I suppose so. Take care now. Good afternoon. Captain Bernard. Well, they came, took everything they could, and rode off again. We're trying to catch up with that guy. What do you want to know? How many of them were there? Interesting. Two or three. I'm not sure. My I'm head's still in the sky. lied to me. Which way did they go? I don't know. I wasn't watching. My husband made me hide indoors. So your husband was outside? Yes. He what did they take? Not much. We haven't a pot to piss in. So you're telling me they came here? You told them there was nothing worth taking? More or less. But just a while ago, you told me... You... Ah. So were you inside or outside? Well... These guys are lying. Lying through their teeth. Let's get one or two things straight. I'm here under orders from Captain Bernard, and that robber baron who came here crippled his cousin and killed two of his men. What's that got to do with me? Just so you know... The captain is very keen to see justice done, and it would not be wise to obstruct him. My God, what have I done to deserve this? So, what really happened here? First, promise me you'll get rid of them. That's exactly what I'm here for. They came a few days ago, took a pig and a sack of apples. We put up no resistance. I noticed one of them had an injured leg, so I offered to treat it for him. That was very Christian of you, considering they came to rob you. All I cared about was that they wouldn't kill us. Go on. What happened then? They rode off, and I prayed we'd seen the last of them. Only the same evening, they came back again. One of them had been wounded, and they wanted me to take a look at him. They gave me some coin, and took me to their camp. Oh. And in the morning, I came home again. So you know where their camp is? I understand. They threatened you. They didn't exactly threaten me. They didn't have to. But if they get away from you, they'll come back and get revenge. Don't worry. We'll take care of them. So you know where they're camped? I'd like you to leave me there. I won't go to their camp, no. But I know of a place where you'll have a good view of it. That'll do me. Sure. Okay. Teleport me over here. I'm not going any further. If they saw me, I'd be done for. The camp's not far away in this direction. Thanks. And don't worry. I'll deal with those bastards. I pray you do. Can't talk to you anymore? In this direction, I'm not far. Looks like I found it. I'd better get back and report to Captain Bernard. So I don't need to scout the southern farm since you know where the camp is. Southern farm 
there's one down here. I found that in camp. Ah. Not really. How many men did you st Oh. Didn't count. About 15. Shit. That won't be easy. Wouldn't it be better to parley with them, sir? Parley with robbers? You must be out of your mind, lad. Sir Hannes ordered me to... What are you trying to say? I could go and parley with Wolflin. Even if it comes to nothing, I could have a good look at his encampment. Hmm. Wolflin's a conceited bastard. If he knows you come from me, he'll receive you. I'll give you a livery with my coat of arms, so it's clear you're my messenger. And you'll have to go unarmed. Thank you, Captain. I'll do my best. I hope so. I'll try and come back in one piece. I don't want to exp... Goodbye. Okay. Put on Sir Bernard's colors. Yeah. I see the marker, I'm gonna save the game with a schnapps. Why is my dog still hunting? My dog needs to stop freaking hunting. You see the tired dog icon there, and I'm not commanding him to hunt. I'm just out here slaughtering animals. Yeah! What do you want? I'm Captain Bernard's envoy. I'm here to parley. Why should I trust you? I'm unarmed. What harm can I do? Hmm. Well, that's true, and you are wearing Sir Bernard's colors. I suppose I should take you to Sir Wolflin. But if you try any tricks, you'll regret it, understood? You have my word. Okay. So, get off my horse. What the hell are you looking at? Come with me! Bill. Okay, so there's this one guy here. 
I said there was 15. I don't think there's 15. There's probably like 10. I'll do a count. Yeah, maybe there is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. A little more than 15. Who do we have here? What's your name, boy? Henry. I'm a messenger from... I know. From my beloved cousin, Sir Bernard of Aleshna. So, what exactly is your message? Can you, like, leave? Why do you want to hurt the lords of Aleshna? That bastard Malotta stole villages that belonged to my father. I was in Poland when my father died, and Malotta convinced everyone I was dead too. But you came back though, didn't you? Aye, I came back. But Malotta bribed a priest to testify that my father made him a deathbed confession. That bastard swore my father told him he was possessed, and so was his son, me. So they think I rose from the dead and I'm a warlock. They won't hear my claim. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But surely the courts of the king wouldn't believe a story like that. Maybe not. But the king's in captivity, and none of the nobles have time for courts. No one will hear my case, and by the time this turmoil is over, everyone will have forgotten about me. I heard some interesting tales about it. <laughs> so Bernard's been telling those stories. So your father didn't have... What? A twisted mouth? Aye. Looked like it was run over by a wagon. And he was born with four siblings and none of them lived. True. But they always leave one thing out of that fairy tale. What's that? That my grandmother was one of five babes and her mother one of four. That's how it goes in that family. And then that talk of the witch. Pah. My grandma couldn't wait to marry my grandfather and give him children. We offer you safe conduct out of this domain if you leave everything you stole from Zahanish's subjects. That's a very generous offer. But tell me, why should I accept? Your quarrel is with Melotta, not with Bernard. And certainly not with Sir Hanish, whose estates you're pillaging. So? So leave Sir Hanish's domain and settle your differences with Melotta elsewhere. My quarrel is with everyone who helps Melotta. And Hanush gave him refuge in Ratai. Hanish's captain is Sir Melotta's cousin. What did you expect him to do? That's no concern of mine. It's really very simple. My quarrel is with Malotta and anyone who helps him. Anyway, I don't claim to be a saint. It's all the same to me whether I'm plundering the estates of Hanush of Lipa, the Bishop of Radislav, or the Pope himself. I think... You know what? I think you're only here to buy time while Bernard prepares to attack. Well, your time's run out. Go back to Bernard and tell him I'll be waiting for him. Come on, sweetie! You know what would be more fun? If I do the dual option. And I know what to expect. Uh equip all my stuff. Okay.
Hey you, what do you want? I'm Captain. Why should I? I'm on art. You have my. Yeah, there's definitely about 15 guys here. I count of 11. And I saw a few more. Henry. I know. So. I heard some in. Huh. So you're fine. What? What's that? That my. And then that. Why do you want to hurt? Dead. So you came back. Hi. So they. That's unfortunate. Maybe. Let's settle the matter the chivalrous way. You and me, man to man. The victor takes all. And the loser? There'll be no loser left alive. I like your spirit, young fellow. But why should I agree? If you win, my men will go and leave the loot here. But what if I win? I doubt Bernard will admit defeat on your account. You'll have to see, won't you? Maybe you'll gain nothing by winning, but at least you won't lose the respect of your men. You're a clever one. It seems a waste to kill you. But I accept your challenge. Let's do it. Oh, I should probably uh, equip something. Got him, Sir Wolfley! Kill Watch out! Over here! Quit it, everyone! Quick! Hey! All of you! Get out of here! Where's my horse? Get over here! Holy crap! What's the matter? Come on! Where's my horse? <laughs> So he's not hard to kill, but how do I get out? Yeah. Oops, 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 oops. Hey you, what do you want? I'm Captain Burn. Why should I'm on off? You have my Henry. I know. So. I heard some interest. <laughs> so your father. What? What's that? That my. And then that. Why do you want to hurt the dead that you came back? Aye. So they think. That's unfortunate. Maybe not. But the king's in captivity, and none of the nobles have time for courts. No one will hear my. Let's settle them. And the loot. They'll be. I like. You'll have to hear it. Okay, I need to quickly equip my stuff. You're dead! Kill him! 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 Kill 
the horse Got him to wolf I'll wipe my arse with you. Okay, time to leave. So Bernard, I killed your cousin in a duel that the bandits obviously did not honor. Just come back from Wolfling, Captain. And in one piece, I see. That's something at least, but I doubt you achieved anything. Depends how you look at it. Wolfling is dead. What? <laughs> He's dead, Captain. I challenged him to a duel and won. I sent you to parley, not fight. But at least I don't have to put my men's necks on the line. So something good came out of your rash disobedience. But we'll still have to hunt down the rest of his gang. They're less of a threat now. They'll scatter without a leader. We'll take care of them. You ride to Ratai now and report to Sir Hanush. And next time, you do as I order. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. See you later. The Lord be pr I went to Pard. So how did that? He's dead. <laughs> what? How did that? <laughs> I challenged him to a duel and he lost. You challenged Wolflin of Camberg to a duel? Jesus, Henry, I don't know whether you're brave or out of your fucking mind. Maybe a bit of both. What about the others? Most of them scattered, and Bernard can take care of the rest. Well now, this calls for a drink. I want to hear the whole story. I'm happy to tell it. Goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna go back there and see if I can yeah. uh, raid his body. Hopefully those bandits are gone. I mean, I could take those bandits in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but 14 of those suckers mobbing me? Nah. Not cool, bro. Yeah, I went to parlay with him. Oh, okay. I doubt you did anything. What do you mean? He's dead. <laughs> so funny. Oh, these guys are still here? I just want to loot his corpse. Archery skill is not very good. He's 
surrender. And I dropped him. Chillin', we're chillin'. Yeah. Come here, Lily Liver. I'll squash you like the louse you are. You'll get what 
Four. My dog, meanwhile, is just in the background with a freaking rabbit in his mouth. Actually, that killed him. To heal, Mutt. Look what I've got for your love. That's a hit. He's fleeing. Okay. I can approach. Beat this guy. I picked up a few more of them. Yeah. I am gonna go see if the old core at the end of the clay has anything for me, and then I'll go back to the thing.
Matt, Matthew you still here? Snitch. I'm gonna just talk to Andrew. Good help. Have you seen a worn out old? She disappeared hey. yesterday. And hasn't been back since. I heard former. Oh, fuck. <laughs> say it looks like a butcher's yard there. No one can say for sure if the old bitch had it. She sure did. That's hilarious. Goodbye. Hey, how about a bit of grub? Take care. Can I just tell him I'm not going to snitch? Yeah. See you later. Alright, well, I'm going to go um, in the direction of that house yeah. that she apparently took out anyway. So, um, we'll check it out on the way back to Rite. <laughs> like she did it to him. here I may as well pick these locks and uh Radishes, radishes, carrot. Means nobody cares about these animals. that he didn't lose any dudes. The matter was not resolved without bloodshed. And I, uh, 
definitely was not sent there on authority to do the duel, but I won it, so get right. My boy, my guy. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, I met the parish priest. I should say so. Rumor has it, when he finished his studies at the U, they say he made a living as a mercenary. And then he suddenly came back and settled down. But he's a fair man, and I'm fond of him. A... Henry! Just the man. What's the problem? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujits. I don't know why exactly, but the root. I'm sorry, but I... You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that... What should I do? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. I understand. The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him. And how can I, um... No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to... I understand. Indeed. And what... My boy. No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent... But... But what if there really are some? Then did Are you at odds? No, I've never even seen him. But, but how could he get his help? He's an archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. They say in Prague that he's a complete... Why? All the hair clan are as shrewd as they... Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. I'll be careful. Good luck, then. Dungeons. I have news from the camp, Sir Hannes. Speak. I persuaded Captain Bernard to let me parley with Wolflin. Bernard agreed. I'm surprised. So was I. But in the end, we settled it the chivalrous way. I challenged him to a duel. Good God. Well, I always knew you had balls. Sometimes more than enough. So Wolflin is dead? Yes, and his gang scattered around the woods. Captain Bernard and his men are hunting them down now. I must say, Henry, after all that's happened recently, I'm glad something finally turned out well. So am I, sir. And I think you deserve to be rewarded for your efforts. Swag. Thank you, sir. Take care. Magdeburg Churis. Okay. Well, we ended up with another quest. 
Yeah, I'm almost certain that this is a timed quest. So I'm going to deal with it ASAP. How good is this churis that I just got? Pretty good. Not as good as what I'm wearing, but really good. Um... I'm just going to sell this. I don't need it. I'm going to go put the uh, Cheris away in my chest. Implement. And then we'll go to the chest. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go sell this stuff. To my boy, the blacksmith. Yeah. Is that Hans? You got back your fast, boy. The Lord. Do you need anything, Sir Hans? What am I? Good luck, then. I guess that's a DLC. Prompt. Safe. Crap. Take care. Get back to work. Yes, yes, work. Yes. Yes, you in blacksmith mode? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. See you later. Um Are these in Okay, I won't sell those. Crap. Goodbye. Uh, that was done. Close. This necklace is insane. Killed him and took his smoked sausage.
Okay. I think we're chilling. I'll try getting an even time day for this. Do you want to get me in trouble? Uh, okay, fine. Good luck, man. Didn't like that I tried to stole him. sell him the pants that I stole. Let's talk. Well, satisfied. I'd almost shake. You'd almost shake on it. Finally, let's freaking go. Save two thousand groschen by haggling. Yeah. 
Did I get turned around? Got turned around a little bit. I think I'm here. Yeah, I'm here now. Yeah. Yeah. Play some dice and then go to bed. I hope I get. I'm feeling lucky. Yeah. Good luck to you. Eleven. Jesus Christ. I'm feeling. Thirteen. Bruh. This chump change. Good luck. Fudge? I want to play dice. Cringe. Well, I guess I'll just go to sleep. Where's this sticker at? sleeping. God be with Can I sleep? Aye. For how long? Just the one. All right. Hmm. What about that? That's not it. Your life. God be with you. Yeah. I guess with this guy. Yeah. And then I feel a lucky. <sighs> Should be able to crush him. I 
have a beer. You're a brave soul. Take my a beer. Looking play, oh, playing losing. dice and my uh, cheat dice. Also gonna start off with a thousand. No nice. point in pushing it. Back. I may as well go. Oh, that's this is game right here. Oh, no, it's, not. it's close, but not quite. Oh, Christ, they're falling your way, and no mistake. Uh, decent roll, he can grab all those points and just roll again. We'll see. If I get another turn, I win. So. That's it. Three sixes. Five sixes. GG, bro. Rushed him. sure I can't read any of these. Level 15 vitality, 15 drinking and alcohol, 15 hunting. I should have sold this. 15 lock picking, 10 herbalism. Not at 10 herbalism. 12 drinking. I think I needed to be at 15 drinking. Hunting's at 11. Herbalism's 6, vitality's 12. Drinking is like 12. Hunting is 11. My lock picking, I think, is still at like 6. It's at 8. Um, I need to sell these stolen pants to somebody. All right, go to sleep. Full energy. going for about three hours, so I think I'll stop here, go get lunch. Nourishment is at 75, so...
Yeah. Good day to you. Good luck to you. Okay, that's him. Like, what time is it? Yeah, it's so weird. How like late this is. Alright. We'll end it here. Thanks everybody for watching. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye bye now.